चेक 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 साउंड चेक टिक डबिंग अच्छा वो पहले मैं बहुत मोटी थी ये कैसे बात कर रही थी गोर्जियस ओह माय गॉड ओह शिट होट होट लग रही है भाई ओए बेटा डिड यू सी व्हाट शी इज ड्रेस्ड लाइक सुपर एम आई अलाउड टू से दैट one particular film which i really 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 enjoyed was matilda we had crazy sessions we had almost 15 16 hours of dubbing every day for 30 days while we want to stay true to the indian content we also want to appeal to the international masses emotions to chahe koi bhi bhasha ke ho emotions samajh mein aate hain you cannot have an off day with your voice ever no ice cream no golas no ice all your drinks without ice all of that Ever since the pandemic, the number of people consuming dub content has shot up not only in India but across the world. Streaming services like Netflix has globalized homegrown content with good quality of dubbing, ensuring that cultural and emotional nuances are not lost in translation. Netflix subtitles and dubs in up to 37 languages. They work closely with dubbing artists and studios to ensure authenticity while dubbing to retain and translate the creator's intent in the best way possible. So in this video you will be hearing from voice actors themselves and actually seeing how they dub some of your favorite Netflix titles while retaining the essence of the original. Hi everybody I'm Sonal Kaushal I'm Naisha I'm Vaibhav Thakkar I'm Ratnesh Bhagat I'm Mona Shetty I uh, run Sound and Vision Studios which is end to end localization company uh, based in Mumbai uh, and we have branches in Chennai Hyderabad Bangalore and Kochi Uh, we do localization in different languages for companies like Netflix, uh, media localization. So a lot of content uh, comes to us. Uh, we've been doing this for about 30 years now. I started my voicing journey with All India Radio when I was eight years old. and then when i was 13 i auditioned for my very first character for dubbing and it was for animation and i got into this industry because of my father who is a veteran voice over artist named mr samay thakkar who is supposedly my mentor i am originally a music composer and a music producer myself the whole thing began with house of cards which was a really big one uh, that came to us first after that we've done really amazing titles like Stranger Things there's been Red Notice there's been a, a plethora of uh, high profile Netflix titles and a lot of Indian content which again started with Sacred Games it was our first English uh, dub for Netflix and uh, therefore very close to our hearts because you know we didn't know exactly which audiences we were dubbing for so it was kind of a bit of an experiment that you know while we want to stay true to the indian content we also want to appeal to the international masses so i dub for onjo in all of us are dead and this series oh my god ye series har kisi ne dekhi hai thoda sa kill kar do okay kya bol rahi hai kuch bhi bolti hai tu ha main nahi pooch sakti use wo bahut chidhayega जब हम ये सीरीज डब कर रहे थे तब ऐसा लगा नहीं था कि ये सुपर हिट हो जाएगी इतनी ज़्यादा लोग पसंद करेंगे बिकॉज आई रिमेंबर पर्सनली वन आई वॉज डबिंग फॉर द कैरेक्टर इट वॉज सो मच ऑफ ब्लड एंड किलिंग एंड जॉम्बीज इतना कुछ हो रहा था मैं तो डबिंग करते करते मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स आई वॉज लाइक ओ माई गॉड ओ शेट बट इट वॉज एन अमेजिंग एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज दिस कैरेक्टर ऑन जो इज absolutely like me she is very sweet very humble very down to earth i would like to mention one scene over here so jab uske dad ke sath wala jo scene hai wo scene dub karte waqt i had tears in my eyes because it was such an emotional scene and i really connected to it adaptation of class comes from the show called elite which is spanish and i also did a character in uh, elite which was a different one of course it's not the same it's not exactly the same character that i'm doing in class but he'll definitely want to go na no 
with class yashika is this she's this extremely um mean person on the outside who's extremely outspoken and you know unapologetic about being and your plans to seduce my boyfriend <laughs> he must have shown you the pool right that's an old trick Check She's constantly playing mind games with everyone because she wants to get her way and she always want to wants to be on top and everything. Be like the person to uh, you know reach out to when they need help and you know whatever like keep project her. I'm the one to reach out for a project, you know. She was like that. Oh my god, come on. Like don't you know he literally tells me everything. And she's also one of those characters who reacts and behaves differently within the same moment. If she's with someone, she's playing a mind game, which she's extremely sarcastic, and then in the very next moment, she's real. She's like, "Oh, this person, you know, like this person really hits my heart, and I have to be real now." So the prep for her character was more about forgetting yourself entirely and becoming her, which is what we do for all characters as such. But we try to find some. um middle ground where we are similar or you know somewhere where we can capture that essence but be ourselves somewhere there but not with yashika she was entirely her own thing ha <laughs> samjha samjha theek you're not his first you know better na head of the wolf guys look bhai the mood already set Actually, didn't require much of prep, uh, prep because I was well briefed by my directors, uh, Simran and Janvi. But uh, the character is very distinct in itself, and it stands out in the show as well because of his lingo, purely because of his lingo and stuff, and the body language and stuff. Look, boy, the mood's already set. Party, shanty, drugs, booze, hash, with everything. Oh, go go kitchen, hash hash, fast fast. Shut up the wolf, guys, quickly. Hey, Kero, I really like your swag. Want to be a waiter? Mm. Uh, to get those nuances in English was a task in itself. We had to keep it in a manner where it's understandable in English as well, and keeping that rawness alive. Shut up, the wolf, guys. Hey, one more. That gruff thing came in once again. So we tried getting that jarred tone in English as well. Like he would not say gorgeous. He would say he would probably say gorgeous, hot, hot. Lag rahi hai, boy. So that's something which came in this nuance bit. Then there's also social currency, which uh, recently came up, and uh, it it was a reality show. Both in in reality shows, how it works is you have those two faces where uh, one way you're like you know trying to win those competitions or whatever. Those are set the contests that are set within the reality show, and then there is also you know that whole. Did you know how she was doing it? ये कैसे बात कर रही थी Did you see what she's dressed like? You know <laughs> that kind of stuff. So social currency was interesting because of that. बागी से start है बागी बच्चे हाँ cool. Muttled our writing lyrics took almost forty five days. Dubbing of the songs took us almost thirty days. बागी बच्चे करते बगावत हम गाए वो गाने जो बदल देते मौसम. If I compare it with this singing with the dubbing singing i would say play, playback is much easier because uh, you are creating something which is new so you 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 will give your own ideas but in dub it is little different because the character is already there on screen one of the language has already defined it now the challenge comes where the singer needs to really come up with the same emotion but in a different language and mind you all the languages have their own dynamics So it's not always easy because um, how do you get the English nuances in Hindi? Because both the languages are very different vowels, very different kind of dynamics in terms of the audio, in terms of sound of each words. Rahe ham baagi bache jab tak insaaf na ho. मैंने आज तक बहुत सारी लैंग्वेजेस में डब किया है और बहुत सारी लैंग्वेजेस से हिंदी या इंग्लिश में डब किया है 
चाहे वो जापनीज हो कोरियन हो स्पैनिश हो तो ये सारी लैंग्वेजेस ना बिल्कुल सिर के ऊपर से जाती है एक वर्ड भी समझ नहीं आता बट आई ऑलवेज से दिस वन थिंग विच इज इमोशन एंड एक्सप्रेशंस सो इमोशंस तो चाहे कोई भी भाषा के हो इमोशन समझ में आते हैं and that is how i connect with the character best part is not just about translation the best part which i really enjoy is the kind of production where the where the hollywood people you know compose and work and they they really work so hard and so beautifully and i get to be a part of this when i am actually working on the same songs you need to be unterrified of being a multitasker you need to be a fabulous actor because you have only half of your uh, physical ability available while acting in a dub of course we have a script in front of us and jo bhi hamare kaano mein audio aa raha hota hai usme jo bhi emotions aa rahe hain character se wo main pakadti hu aur hindi dialogue pakadti hu aur dono ko mix karke and then i perform not always we are sticking to the script if at all we required on the set i mean during the rolling period if director myself and the engineer if at all we feel that you know we can better it then of course we take that leeway and change the script uh, for the betterment of the project but as a professional voice actor you have to speak on demand all through the day continuously you have to play different characters you have to be able to emote you have to be able to take direction you have to be able to convert direction to action you need to have a heightened sense of perception to be able to understand first of all what is required of you what is going on on screen how has that actor enacted what is he feeling what is he believing what is he doing what is his body language you know what is the scenario is he in a room is he in an open air field is is there a noise behind him who is he talking to what is he saying back when the show money heist was the talk of the town one could not help but hum the song bella chao which is an integral part of the series But did you know that the song was released in multiple languages to market it in different countries and this move did wonders for the show Closer to home the film Gangu by Kathiawadi found a massive audience in Thailand after its release on Netflix The Thailand audience heard Gangu talk to them in their language and her struggle still managed to resonate with them RRR became one of the most popular films from India on Netflix globally Within its first 4 weeks on the platform The film was viewed for over 47 million hours across the world surpassing all language barriers. As a platform, Netflix has been encouraging new ideas to provide quality dubs which in turn enables audiences to experience the magic of cinema from around the world while sitting in their living rooms. This has brought a positive change in the way the dubbing industry and dub content is looked at. I would say we have started getting more respect because pehle kya hota tha jab uh... मैं किसी को बताती थी कि आई एम अ वॉइस आर्टिस्ट फिर ऑफ कोर्स ऐसा जवाब आता था डबिंग वो क्या होता है तो जब उन्हें एक्सप्लेन किया जाता था तो वो कहते थे अच्छा वो पहले मैं बहुत मोटी थी बट अब ऐसा नहीं होता बट नाउ आई फील वेरी लिबरल और अच्छा लगता है कि यार नाउ वी कैन गेट इन टू दी ऑथेंटिसिटी and of course the working style has changed the delivery style has gotten relatively more natural i would say dubbing has been a very different industry but i think it's a it's one of a very interesting industry which not just growing in a way but it also educates you a lot and it's connecting multiple industries worldwide ab jo hai dubbing ki quality bahut enhance ho gayi hai pehle i can say it was more of exaggerated expressions but now it is very subtle very natural and very you know natural way of performing we have to remember that everything distributors knew for the last 30 years that we've been in business uh, everything is being challenged today nobody can claim to know at all how an audience will react i've been told so many times oh no 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 we shouldn't do this people don't like it who are these people who don't like it what is your data set that is a very big question Every 10 years, you know, the way of uh, the working style changes a lot. Since the time I have started, तब से अब तक there are several changes. And post Netflix coming in, I personally believe, and I'm really grateful about that, that that uh, we get a lot of leeway uh, to stick to the authenticity. So we're going to get a taste of what this entire thing looks like, and it's not easy as it looks like. And we're going to get a demo of that. As Simran is going to teach me right now. You can't see her, but she's out there on the other side of the glass. Yeah. So 
so she is like still distracted and just same in the same tone yeah it doesn't make the slightest difference yashika there are slight uh, i paused sorry i took a pause I think one of the best ways to start is observe. Sitting in the director's room, if you get the opportunity to, uh, you know, just observe a project and pick up, it's the best way to do it because being in the director's chair is actually the toughest. <laughs> They have to balance everything from moods of people. Yes, that's a real thing. To the script, to what the project is uh, demanding, to what the client is demanding, and all of that. So when you observe the project from that side as an artist. and you watch how it's being done that's the best way to learn so that's according to me the best way to start your journey as a dubbing artist okay i just got it hum baage bachche karte bagawat hum gaaye wo gaane jo badal dete mausam rahe hum baage bachche jab tak insaaf na ho tranj bol ne liya agar pangat hoga danga subscribe to mid day india Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.